I'm, during my work, I'm traveling a lot, so I've been thinking about, about my workflow, like my tooling, what I'm using. I don't want to be dependent on the hardware, like the monitors I have, I don't want to be dependent on a mouse. So I'm going to explain to you how I work on the command line, because the command line is the most common tool every one of us uses in the JavaScript world. So first of all, um, I'm introducing to you Tmux. So I created a session already to make things faster. So what is Tmux? You see, it's like a small operating system in your uh, terminal. You have Windows on the bottom, and you can switch through Windows. And you can see um, I have a meta key, control J, and if I press N, I switch to the window. So if I output the project here, I can say control J P to go back to the other window. If I press control J and L, I can alternate between those two. So this is very fast. You have to focus always on one window. This is one thing I really like about that. All right, so I prepared a little project with some source code. And yeah, I prepared the project to run with chest to stay to the Austrian roots, I think. All right, oh, something is, all oh, right, oh, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, it's a unit test, so that's the reason why we have them. So we try to fix the error. All right, okay, there is something missing. So we need some fixture data, and we do this uh, very fancy. We press Control J and pipe, and there should be some file, like rest URL, yeah. So here, we have a URL uh, provided by the backend team, but we don't copy that. We just close this window, we do this fancy in uh, Vim. So what we do is we press colon to enter the command line on the bottom, and we say read. And we just call C URL, uh, or curl, and yeah, we make it fancy, just catch rest URL, and if this works and the internet connection is fine, yeah, right. Read it through the buffer, thank you. All right, but you can see, uh, yeah, this is not very nice, we have a lot of data sets and it's not very well formatted, so what we're going to do, is having a, a problem, right? All right, so we press uh, capitalized V to mark the whole file, and then we press colon. You see, we mark this, and we just run it through Python. And there is something which is called json.tool, it's delivered with your Python. Yeah, right, okay, cool. With percentage, you can switch through there. We don't, we don't need all the data, we just go with one, so we go 12 up, and then we delete it. Ah, on the bottom you see what I'm pressing, by the way. So, all right. But you see, you're a, a human linter, you see, oh, we have double quotes, we don't want them. Okay, what we do is we go in the command line, uh, the buffer, substitute, double quotes with single quotes, G on all, bam, that's it. All right, that's the first thing. Then we don't want attributes to have single quotes, right? We want them to be normal, so we delete surroundings, single quotes. No, nope. delete surroundings, single quotes, yeah. Delete some single quotes. Okay, this is very tedious. We do a macro for that. So we go up, press Q to enter macro mode, and then we define a key like Q. So we go down one, go to the beginning, delete surrounding, single, yeah, and press Q to finish the, the recording. So when we go ahead and just say execute, like we say at Q, we do the macro. At Q, we do the macro. But this is also tedious. So we, we just do, you see the relative line numbers on the side. So we say, Five at Q, done. All right, cool. So now we have this. So the test should, oh, all right. Um, oh, no test cases, okay. We do a fuzzy find. We do a fuzzy find for X test. So you can find it here. All right, okay, I forgot to test. So now I'll show you snippets. So if you do this, describe, I define a snippet for that, I press Control K, now it expands. Then I say find user, press control K to go into the body, press it, control K, uh, should not find Charles. And yeah, we just do the logic, uh, users, and we say test, which should deliver undefined. And oh, one thing, flow, right? Uh, we should enable flow as well. So we just do this. And now we should get recommendations because the chess API is so hard to remember every time. So I say expect, return, and if I press the dot, we should get auto completion. Yes, that's nice. So to be undefined, yeah, we do this. And if everything worked, yeah, everything passed. So how many, what's, what's the time? <clears throat> Out of time, just right now. Yeah. Thank you okay, very much, you much. impressive. <laughs>